Hi guys, JT here and today I'm bringing you some information on 10 games in Fanatical Summer Superstars Collection of August 2024. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? By using the link provided in the description below, not only will you gain access to this bundle, but you'll have the opportunity to support this channel. Your support will mean the world to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into this. And number one we have... Death Stranding Director's Cut An adventure game by Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima You play as Sam Porter Bridges, a courier delivering cargo across what's left of the United States after a supernatural cataclysm called the Death Stranding has driven the last of humanity into underground cities, leaving the barren surface plagued by soul-sucking ghosts called BTs, rain that rapidly ages anything it touches, and other strange things. The game is essentially a feature-length fetch quest, but the environment and the many challenges it throws at you makes the trip worth enduring. Death Stranding is secretly a brilliant hiking and mountaineering simulator, and every piece of rough terrain you encounter is a puzzle to be solved. The majority of your time in Death Stranding is spent out in the open, plodding slowly from one place to another. As you trek across a continent, you see enormous cascading waterfalls, snowy mountains, steam-spewing volcanic fissures, raging rivers, dense forests, and wide grassy plains, and it all looks and sounds stunning. Death Stranding is best when it shuts up, as it is filled with bizarre characters, lengthy screens of exposition, and indulgent cutscenes, but it is in the long, quiet stretches between all of this when it's just you hiking alone across a stark, haunting post-apocalyptic wilderness where it really shines. Death Stranding's most overt theme is connection, and this manifests itself in some brilliantly clever asynchronous multiplayer, where players traverse their world dropping ladders and ropes or using a device called a PCC to build river-spanning bridges, battery-boosting generators, zip lines, roads, and other helpful objects. These then appear in other people's games. The director's cut adds new content and features to the game, including new story missions, new weapons and equipment, and even a racing mode, making this the best opportunity to get into the game. And number 2 we have... Fallout 4, a post-apocalyptic sandbox RPG. In the game, you play as a vault dweller, exploring a world devastated by nuclear war. The game offers a highly customizable experience with intricate systems that allow you to tailor your gameplay to your liking. The main storyline revolves around your character's search for their kidnapped son in the Commonwealth, a condensed version of Massachusetts. The story is considered one of Bethesda's best, tying in closely with side plots and factions. However, the ending is abrupt and can leave players feeling unsatisfied. Fallout 4 features a large and detailed world set in Boston, offering a mix of familiar locations and new areas. The graphics will improve from previous Bethesda games still shows the limitations of the aging creation engine. The game's atmosphere strikes a balance between brutality and lightheartedness, with a sense of discovery and mystery driving exploration. The addition of voice protagonists enhances immersion, and the companions are more than just a pack of mules, providing depth to the world and story. The new settlement system allows players to construct and customize settlements using resources collected from the environment. While it can be gratifying to see a settlement thrive, the workshop interface can be fiddly, and managing resources between settlements can be cumbersome. Gun customization is a notable feature, allowing players to modify their weapons with various attachments. The shooting mechanics are enjoyable, making combat a highlight of the game. The scarcity of ammo encourages experimentation and adds to the tension. Despite some flaws, Fallout 4 offers a vast and engaging post-apocalyptic world with a compelling main story, intriguing side quests, and immersive gameplay mechanics. And number 3 we have... Guilt a gripping horror experience, skillfully navigating the fine line between cartoony graphics and genuine thrills while delving into the serious issue of bullying. As Sally, you embark on a quest to find her missing cousin Emily amidst the eerie backdrop of a town torn apart by mysterious forces. The game's narrative unfolds smoothly, immersing you in Sally's desperate search and the unsettling events that unfold. Despite some initial confusion regarding the setting, guilt quickly captivates with its atmospheric storytelling and eerie atmosphere. The introduction of monstrous adversaries adds to the tension, with various strategies available for dealing with them, from stealthy evasion to direct confrontation. Guilt excels in its attention to detail, weaving together a rich tapestry of lore and backstory that adds depth to the gameplay experience. The Lovecraftian elements are particularly well executed, with subtle hints and clues scattered throughout the environment, inviting you to uncover the truth behind the town's dark secrets. Visually, Guilt impresses with its stylized graphics and dynamic animations, while the hand-drawn cutscenes and evocative soundtrack enhance the overall immersion. Despite its relatively short length, the game offers plenty of opportunities for exploration and discovery, ensuring that every moment feels meaningful. 
Guilt is a standout horror experience that deserves a chance to shine. With its compelling narrative, engaging gameplay, and atmospheric presentation, it offers a memorable journey into the unknown, leaving you craving more long after the credits roll. At number 4 we have Astalon Tears of the Earth A retro-style action-adventure game The game takes place in a post-apocalyptic world, where three heroes must venture through a massive tower to stop a mysterious force that threatens their world. The gameplay revolves around exploration, platforming, and combat. Players control the three heroes, a warrior, a mage, and a rogue, each of their own unique abilities as they traverse through the tower's various floors. Each floor is filled with traps, puzzles, and enemies that players must overcome to progress. One of the strengths of Astalon is its tight and responsive gameplay mechanics. The platforming and combat feel satisfying and engaging, with a range of enemies that require different strategies to defeat. The hero's unique abilities provide a sense of variety and make exploring the tower more enjoyable. The game's difficulty can be challenging with a steep learning curve, but it's never unfair. Players will need to explore and experiment to progress, but it's always satisfying when they figure out a challenging puzzle or defeat a tough boss. That is if they don't break their keyboards or controllers in the process. Overall, Astalon Tears of the Earth is a fantastic action-adventure game that successfully captures the essence of classic NES games while adding its own unique twists. Its responsive gameplay, excellent presentation, and challenging difficulty make it a must-play for fans of the genre. And number 5 we have Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy A visual novel that brings anime-style courtroom drama to the PC. This HD remaster of the classic console games introduces players to the world of Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney navigating through quirky trials filled with humor, suspense, and unexpected twists. As a fresh law school graduate, you take on the role of Phoenix Wright, who is determined to defend his best friend, Larry Butts, from a murder charge. Each case presents a unique challenge as you listen to witness testimonies, cross-examine them, and present evidence to unravel the truth. The gameplay revolves around selecting the right responses and identifying contradictions to prove your client's innocence. The Ace Attorney trilogy stands out from other visual novels due to its engaging characters and captivating storylines. The trials range from ridiculous to genuinely suspenseful, keeping you invested in the outcome. Phoenix Wright, the main character, is one of the few in the genre who freely expresses himself, showcasing genuine care for his clients and making you empathize with him. The game combines courtroom drama with investigative elements as you don the role of a sleuth, searching for clues and uncovering evidence before the court date. The localization of the game is noteworthy, with clever wordplay and humorous dialogue that adds to the overall charm. The characters' names, for example, are often puns, reflecting the localization's attention to detail. While the game's pacing can sometimes feel slow, with some episodes acting as flashbacks or tutorial sequences, the overall experience is immersive and enjoyable. The smooth HD visuals and anime-inspired aesthetics enhance the overall storytelling, making it feel like you're playing through an actual TV series. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy excels at creating a fun and engaging visual novel experience. The mix of humor, drama, and intriguing mysteries keep you hooked as you strive to uncover the truth and deliver justice. Whether you're a fan of the original games or new to the series, this remastered trilogy is a must-play for those seeking an immersive courtroom adventure. And number 6 we have... Resident Evil 3 Remake Resident Evil 3 Remake places you in the role of Jill Valentine, a key figure from Resident Evil 1. Haunted by PTSD stemming from the Spencer Mansion incident, you are abruptly thrust back into the zombie-infested Raccoon City. Enter Nemesis, a more lethal version of Mr. X, equipped with an array of weaponry, from flamethrowers to rocket launchers, and remarkable speed capable of sprinting at you from a distance. Whenever Nemesis appears, evasion is paramount to survival. His relentless pursuit is a constant threat. Following the franchise's tradition, your objective is to escape a dire locale, in this case, the entirety of Raccoon City. Uncover keys to unlock sealed doors and navigate through the nightmare. While Resident Evil 2 confines you mainly to isolated buildings, Resident Evil 3 introduces you to the diverse denizens of Raccoon City, each engaged in their own struggles, thereby imbuing the city with character. Gameplay leans towards a more arcadey feel, particularly evident in New Game Plus with new weaponry. A dodge mechanic heightens combat agility, fostering a faster-paced experience compared to Resident Evil 2. Nonetheless, Resident Evil 3 faces certain drawbacks. Its brevity clocking at around 8 hours for a thorough playthrough is noticeable. Elements like the remission of the clock tower sequence from the original game and the gradual decline of Nemesis Fear Factor due to evolutionary shifts are somewhat disappointing. However, Resident Evil 3 remains captivating, particularly if one sets realistic expectations regarding game length and lacks familiarity with the original version's cut content. At number 7 we have Devil May Cry 5 One of the best brawlers on PC, featuring intense combat and a dynamic story with three unique characters. 
This game is an exploration of the myriad ways a magical man might hit a demon. You use swords and guns interchangeably to create flowing acrobatic combos. Dante, the series original hero, can even hit demons with two halves of a haunted motorbike. Nero, on the other hand, uses seven mechanical arms, each of unique abilities, to punch enemies. The new anti-hero, V, commands a demonic condor and a panther to fight for him. Each character's unique combat style looks sensational and feels incredibly satisfying. You switch between Nero, V, and Dante throughout the game's 20 missions. A demon named Urizen is draining the city's blood using a demonic tree called the Cliffith, and it's up to the trio to stop him. The story is preposterous, yet genuinely funny, supported by earnest performances and quality performance capture. Combat is the core of Devil May Cry 5, where you clear levels room by room, aiming for high scores by executing stylish combos. The game rewards creativity and precision, marking your performance and encouraging you to strive for the coveted Smoke and Sexy Style title. For new players, there's an auto mode that executes advanced combos, making the game more accessible. Each character offers a distinct combat experience, with Nero's mechanical arms adding versatility, Dante's extensive weapon and style options providing depth, and V's unique playstyle offering a refreshing change of pace. Devil May Cry 5 runs smoothly on PC, with extensive settings for performance tweaking. The detailed visuals and fast-paced gameplay make every fight a spectacle. Despite a few minor issues, such as repetitive boss fights and some other developed areas, Devil May Cry 5 excels in providing a thrilling, high-energy brawling experience. If you enjoy third-person brawlers, DMC5 is a must-play. If you're new to the genre, this game is a fantastic starting point. And number 8 we have the Devil May Cry HD Collection. This collection brings together three iconic action games, Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. Released on March 2018, this collection allows you to experience Dante's stylish demon hunting adventures in upgraded HD. In the first Devil May Cry, you step into the shoes of Dante, a demon hunter armed with a variety of weapons and abilities. Set in a gothic environment, the game emphasizes fast-paced, combo-driven combat and puzzle solving, providing fluid action and engaging gameplay with diverse combat styles. Devil May Cry 2, while often seen as the weakest entry in the series, still offers simplified combat and less engaging level design. It introduces new moves like the Wall Run and Rainstorm, and features the debut of the bonus mode, Bloody Palace. Despite its shortcomings, it retains the core mechanics of the series. Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition is a highly acclaimed prequel known for its refined combat system, deeper story, and multiple combat styles, offering significant replayability. The challenging gameplay and the option to play as Virgil enhance its value within the collection. The HD collection improves the original game's graphics, providing higher resolutions, better textures, and smoother visuals. Though some pre-rendered backgrounds and cutscenes show their age, the overall presentation is polished, running smoothly on modern hardware with consistent frame rates. The soundtrack remains a banging feature, with intense and fitting tracks that complement the action-packed gameplay. Voice acting varies, with iconic performances in the first and third games, though less impressive in DMC2. Including three full games, each offering many hours of gameplay, the collection provides substantial content and replayability, especially with DMC3's additional content like playing as Virgil and the survival mode. The Devil May Cry HD collection is a worthy playthrough, whether you're revisiting the origins of a landmark series or diving into the world of Devil May Cry for the first time. Enhanced visuals and a timeless appeal of the first and third games make it a valuable addition to any action game enthusiast's library. And number 9 we have... Forgive Me Father 2. Embark on a harrowing journey into the depths of eldritch horror, blending doom-like mechanics with a haunting soundtrack to deliver an unforgettable experience. This sequel maintains its position as a standout horror shooter, offering a gripping narrative intertwined with Lovecraftian themes and intense action. Set against the backdrop of World War I's traumas, Forgive Me Father 2 plunges you into the nightmarish landscapes filled with grotesque creatures and twisted environments. As you navigate through asylums, trenches, and eerie manors, the game delves into themes of trauma, survival, and the battle against inner demons. The game's visuals, characterized by cell shader artwork, contribute to its eerie atmosphere, with each level meticulously crafted to immerse you in a world of dread and madness. From sigils and paintings to ghastly enemies you encounter, every detail reinforces the game's Lovecraftian aesthetic, inviting you to confront the horrors lurking within your own psyche. In terms of gameplay, Forgive Me Father 2 excels with its high-octane gunplay and diverse arsenal of weapons, ranging from revolvers to bazookas. Each weapon feels weighty and impactful, offering satisfying combat mechanics that complement the game's relentless pace. However, Forgive Me Father 2 is not without its flaws. 
the carryover of health between fights can pose a challenge, requiring strategic resource management to survive the game's unforgiving encounters. Additionally, the presence of only one boss and limited weapon options may leave some players wanting more variety in their gameplay experience. Despite these minor drawbacks, Forgive Me Father 2 stands as a testament to the horror FPS genre, offering a thrilling blend of action, storytelling, and atmospheric design. Whether you're a fan of Lovecraftian horror, or simply seeking a gripping shooter experience, Forgive Me Father 2 delivers a haunting journey into madness that is sure to leave a lasting impression. And number 10 we have Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill plunges you into a visceral odyssey through a dystopian future where humanity's absence has birthed a world overrun by bloodthirsty machines. This game pays homage to 90s shooters while infusing the finesse of character action games, resulting in an intoxicating blend of skill-based carnage. Since its debut on September 2020, Ultra Kill has garnered widespread acclaim, boasting an overwhelmingly positive rating from over 92,000 Steam users. Its success underscores its status as a contemporary classic in the FPS realm. At its essence, Ultra Kill delivers blistering combat, empowering you to disseminate foes with an array of devastating weaponry. The game's health system adds a strategic layer, as you must drench yourself in the blood of fallen adversaries to stay alive, ensuring relentless adrenaline field engagements. What truly distinguishes Ultra Kill is its dedication to community involvement. By actively seeking feedback via platforms like Steam and Discord, the developers have cultivated a symbiotic relationship with players, shaping the game's evolution based on community input. This collaborative ethos has refined Ultra Kill into a finely crafted experience that resonates deeply with genre enthusiasts. Despite its early access status, Ultra Kill offers substantial content with plans for further expansion. Its retro-inspired visuals and immersive soundtrack transport you to a world inspired by Dante's Inferno, further enhancing the adrenaline-soaked atmosphere. Ultra Kill stands as a testament to the enduring allure of classic FPS titles. With its fusion of nostalgic mechanics, stylish combat, and relentless intensity, it promises an electrifying journey for both seasoned veterans and newcomers alike. Brace yourself for an adrenaline fueled thrill ride from start to finish. And that's all for this bundle. The Summer Superstar Collection packs some standout games like Death Stranding and Fallout 4 Game of the Year, making it a great pick if you're ready to dive into them right away. While the price is a bit higher than some previous bundles, the quality and variety on offer make it worth considering, especially if you haven't picked up these titles before. If you're eager to expand your library with some solid choices, this bundle is definitely a worthwhile addition. In any case, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if this video was helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.